have a Rosslyn Reports crime alert to tell you about this morning. A new wave of auto thefts that police, frankly, can't figure out. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rosslyn is here with more. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, good morning. This is a real mystery. Look, when you lock your car and you set the alarm on it, you think your car is pretty safe. But as you're about to see, criminals have designed a new high-tech gadget, giving them full access to your car. Police are so baffled, they actually want you to watch this video to see if you can help crack the case. Long Beach, California. Watch as this thief moves in, approaching this locked SUV in a driveway. Police say he's carrying a small device in the palm of his hand. You can barely see it, but he aims it at the car and pops the locks electronically. He's in with access to everything, no commotion at all. Then his accomplice shows up and hits another car using that same handheld device. Deputy Police Chief David Hendricks is mystified. This is bad in the sense that we're stumped. You're stumped. We are stumped, and we don't know what this technology is. He says it's almost like the thieves are cloning your car remote, which is virtually impossible to do. Here's why. On most cars, when you hit the unlock button, it sends a code to the car. That code is encrypted and constantly changing and should be hack-proof. But yet these criminals have figured out a way to crack it. Clearly. Jim Stickley is one of the country's leading security experts. He's watched the tapes, and he's stumped too. This is really frustrating because clearly they figured out something that looks really simple. Whatever it is they're doing, it just takes seconds to do. And you look and you go, that should not be possible. It's happening from California to Illinois. Angry and, uh, you know, I felt pretty unsafe. That's Michael Shin. His home security camera caught this crook breaking into his Honda Accord using a similar device. But you'd never know it. He looks like the owner of the car, unlocking the doors remotely and silently. The thief stole cash and an expensive cell phone. It was shocking. It just opens magically um, (laughs) without him having to do anything. Adding to the mystery, police say the device works on some cars, but not others. These thieves try to open a Ford SUV and the Cadillac. No luck. But this Acura SUV and sedan pop right open. And they always seem to strike on the passenger side. Investigators don't know why. We've reached out to the car manufacturers, the manufacturers, the vehicle alarm systems. And so far, nobody seems to know what this technology is. That says a lot about how sophisticated these criminals are. When you look at the video and you see how easy it is, it's, it's pretty unnerving. Unnerving indeed. This is still so new, police don't know how widespread it is yet. So how do you protect yourself? Here's the takeaway. Police say don't leave anything valuable inside your car, even if it's parked in your own driveway. That includes your garage door opener, because if the thieves get that, they're suddenly inside your house. Also, keep your car registration in your wallet. Do not leave it in the glove compartment. Police say with that information on the registration, like your home address, criminals can steal your identity. But right now, no question about it, the priority for police is finding this device so they can take it apart and figure out what it is. If you have any information that could help, we want to hear from you. Go to our website, today.com. Just click on the Rawson Report section. Send us an email if it's something helpful. We know a lot of our viewers are smart and know a lot about electronics. Maybe they can help the police. Oh, I That's a say, great idea. So many people put their car registration in the glove box yeah. and the garage opener, so a little scary. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. Not-